throughout the entire town at the base of the Sierra Nevada. KTV's Bailey O'Carroll joins us now with a look at how the town and the people are trying to rebuild. Bailey. Pam, good morning. The campfire, which ignited five years ago today, it burned 153,000 acres, killed 85 people, and destroyed more than 18,000 homes and businesses. Those businesses and homes are slowly being rebuilt. At any one time, 700 of them are under construction, some on original lots, others on new in new areas. 26,000 people called Paradise home before the deadly fire. Today, that population population is at less than half, just under 10,000. And while not everybody is ready to return because of the horrors that they witnessed, some people, like this business owner you're about to hear from, are determined to rebuild. As far as Nick's Deli and Wine Bar, I wanted to have a place where after the fire and the tragedy, people could feel welcome and feel comfortable and feel normal. Other businesses are returning to paradise. A big lots in a Ross, Ross recently opened up. Many residents were excited about that, and paradise leaders say they're going to start installing a sewer system next summer so that more businesses and restaurants can operate in that downtown area. But for now, more people use places like Nick's as a place to gather and remember. And while the population is not as big as it once was, the town is growing as more people slowly return or as first-time residents move in. The town, which was mostly a retirement community, has a changing demographic. Get this, Little League has so much interest, they warn parents that some kids may actually be turned away. Back to you. All right, thank you, Bailey. Time now.